Welcome back everybody. In this video we'll be looking at Space Crawler. As you can see between last video and now I've added a bit of substance to the game. Um, I still haven't completely thought out what this game is, um, but I definitely know that it will be a demo um, and that it will just have very basic uh, ideas and features involved in it. Uh, so I'll just run you through some of the story aspects I've um, thought through and then I'll show you some of the uh, more mechanics of the game and uh, how I'm imagining that this uh, will go. So uh, first of all, as you can see, we're in this uh, like space station um, and there's these little characters around. And if we talk to them, then they'll say, you know, hi, doctor, I praise you for your sacrifice and kind of implying that we've done something. Um, I hope your plan works, doctor, you are a hero. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have some cutscenes at the beginning that kind of pay us some respect to the character that we are and um, tell us what our mission is and what we're going to do. Um, so if you don't make it back in time, we may not survive. And I think this guy is going to be talking about these uh, thingies here. These cryo tanks will keep us alive for a few decades. Beyond that, our lives are at risk. Uh, so uh, yeah, these things are like cryo tanks. And obviously, we're all doctors here. So the idea is we... Uh, or my character is going to be leaving them behind as they sleep in their cryo tanks to figure out something that I haven't yet decided. Um, but obviously it's, a, it's meant to be a farming game, so it'll be something to do with that, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, so if we go into our ship, which is currently docked at the station, we can have a look around. So last time I had the ship, and I've, sh I've shrunk it down a bit because I've been doing some testing, and it's not uh, good to constantly be walking back and forth, and it's kind of slow. Uh, and this speed is kind of like the happy speed, any faster, and it seems like we're just sprinting everywhere. Uh, so if I just quickly interact with this, you can see now we go into a ship mode, and we can see that we were at this space station. Um, and I'm try I've tried to make it as you know similar to the interior as I could, or actually I did it the opposite way around, where I made this first, and then I made the interior based on this exterior. Um, and so if I press enter again, or start, then we get back into our ship. Uh, and now when we go through these doors, we have what is a sleeping quarters, but it's actually a cryo tank. And instead of sleeping, we'll be obviously suspended. Um, and that will also pass the time. I, obviously, it doesn't work yet, but the idea is it will pass the time for when we are growing our plants. And this is just an example of how the plants will grow. They are just, you know, auto animating right now. Um, so we have what I call the meat wheat. Uh, we have a moon flower and a space fruit. So obviously each of them are different and I'm not sure how they even connect to the actual story yet. Um, but uh, I'm finding that as I as I do more of this, I'm just enjoying the creative process. And it might be that um, I upload this game as a demo and it doesn't really have much meaning. Um, but then maybe I come back to it in a few weeks or months, uh, maybe even years, and I you know flesh it out fully with you know, with ideas that I've had over the uh, time that I've been away from it. Because uh, currently I'm just trying to get it done for the competition. Um, and uh, it definitely works as a as a prototype demo. So I'll also show you some cool things. I've When, I, when you press enter, you obviously your helmet goes up, uh, which I think is a cool little thing. It's just simple switching of the, of the player sprite sheet. Um, and yeah, if we we head off from this space station. If we go to the next scene, um, uh, I'm gonna I'm thinking of how the galaxy will be set out, but this is currently just very simple. Uh, we just go into the next scene, and we then come across another space station, which I want it to be like a bar, and these are all like uh, you know like people's vehicles at the bar. Uh, so there's only one pad free, so we land on it, and we press enter, and we can walk out, which arguably isn't very like the process of you know docking and then pressing enter and then walking up to the exit isn't very uh, good. But yeah, the, currently I haven't made the interior of this station, so I've just made it the same as uh, you know our bedroom, but with it says station two when you when you uh, walk into it. Um, so yeah, it's uh, very simple, but uh, it's coming along. Obviously, the idea that we we have a farm, we have crow tanks, we have these this like story aspect to it that we um a kind of fleshing out as we go but yeah I, I the most the thing i'm most happy with is the artwork for these 
you know, like meteor thing. I'll show you in Tiled. So you see here in Tiled, and obviously I made this piece of artwork in GIMP, and I've then exported it as a PNG, and Tiled is using it as, you know, to make tile sheets. Um, and obviously you can see here, this is the idea that I first started with, with like the computer and, a, uh, and some like growing beds. And then obviously I've slowly fleshed out with each piece I needed and made machines and doors in the cryo tank. Um, but then down here we have the like the space parts, right? So we jump into this scene. I'll just show you what I can do with this uh, tile sheet. Obviously from this it doesn't look like it has much going on, but um, it's all about the effect that you create and the uh, the kind of ideas you put in the viewer's head, right? So if we build this up, so as you can see, I've built up these uh, shapes, and they don't really mean much. Um, but if I start adding these pieces here, then we can start making shapes that resemble some sort of space station. Yeah, so we see you have these shapes and they have a bit of dimension because of these lines and obviously they kind of have a kind of like a shadow, um, but that's just how I've done it. Um, and then if we we start adding these details, like I've made this basically be a landing pad. If I turn off the random, uh, this is now uh, a landing pad, right? Like this is where the player knows that uh, they should be landing. So where should I put that? Yeah, so I'm going to put it here. And so the player will land here. And then I need to connect these things. And I have two ways of connecting them, like these tubes here, or I got these tubes. These things look more like ridged. Uh, plastic or something, you know, and these things look like the same material as as the actual structure. So you see now we have some resemblance of a actual structure that uh, we would be able to traverse through. Um, and you see here I've got this window thing, uh, and if I wanted to I could, you know, this could be the observatory or something. Um, maybe I'll have it so it has Nice round windows. I also got some smaller windows here that I can dot around. Uh, now, if you notice, it kind of feels like a spider's eyes or something. It kind of looks organic in a way, which uh, is fantastic. The uh, no matter what it turns out to be, is kind of fantastic. Like. Um, Unless you have a specific interior layout that you want, then your, this uh, experimenting is very valuable. Now I'll talk about the actual asteroid part. Of it. As you can see here, I have you know a collection of like dots and and blobs, and they act as asteroids and stars. So if I just uh, do a blank thing here. Um, if I, if I was to just use them, it would be crazy, right? This is on random, and you see the sky would be peppered with asteroids, tiny asteroids, which is not what I want. Uh, so if I go into the tile set, I right-click on this one. You see here the probability of it is 50. So it's overruling most of these uh, things. They're all on one, I think. Um, so when I select all of them and this middle piece, you see now it's... Uh, it's not overrule it. It's, there's more gaps in between, right? Uh, and what I actually want to do is only select these dust particles. And now you can see I've kind of created a night sky effect where it looks like in the background there's tons of tiny stars, uh, which I really like. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of those things again. And I'm going to select that middle one. And then using the rectangular tool and the randomize, I can now start creating clusters by, uh, by just dragging out a box where the randomness, obviously, as you can see as I move, it changes the randomness. If something looks good, like not too square and it feels spread out and random, uh, but gets still clustered, then I would probably choose it. And obviously, I'm 
if you looked at my previous thing, I had it. So there's like uh, eight directions and each of them has like a little cluster and then one of these arrows. So the idea is that uh, the player will see these arrows and know that the the actual structure in this map is, you know, uh, in that direction. And that's just so that I can, you know, stitch these levels together and have some continuity that the player doesn't get lost and also kind of understands where they are in the galaxy. So now if we talk about the actual structure of the uh, that the station is on, obviously it can be just floating like this, but I kind of want it to be on an asteroid. That's kind of the fun of sci-fi that it doesn't really have to make sense. So what I'm going to do is put on the random and the clone tool and then build this up. What I'm thinking is this structure here won't be connected to the main asteroid. It will be floating off. As you can see now, it looks like it's on some kind of uh, piece of land. Um, and as you can see, I've made this piece of art have this black outline around it, which is only on one side. And that's just so that there's like this evenness to it. Uh, as you can see, I made like a duplicate of the same asteroid that has the black lines in it. And that's so I can do this. I'm now creating it so it has that outline around it. Um, and I can be even with it by putting one here and one here uh, and you can see I'm I'm creating the black outline um, around everything manually right um, but yeah that's a very simple thing and then obviously I'll just do this quickly but I would then corner off all of these things um, and basically you have a little space station on an asteroid and I didn't have to you know sketch out anything and like think too hard about what the asteroid would look like and how it would work. I just made some shapes, stitched them together. It, the interior might not work very well, but uh, for the speed that I did this in, it's fantastic, right? Um, it's perfect for the game jam, perfect for uh, you know iter iterating quickly, um, and I it's definitely fun with it, right? I can al already see this being in like an observation tower. This is clearly the main hall, right? And this is obviously where you come in. This is some kind of office, maybe. And if it is an office, maybe it wants a window on it. Um, and then obviously we've got the connecting pathway over to the main thing. Uh, yeah, so that's how my workflow is going with this. The actual game itself, obviously, because of the competition, it has to be in the four colors. And I'll probably keep it in the green just because it's so iconic. Uh, I also like the green. It's kind of nice. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's coming together nicely. I, I was, Like I said, I don't really know where it's going. And I'm just enjoying the ride. Um, the artwork's fun, and I kind of want to have a story of some sort in it. Um, and it'll probably to do with the cryo tanks, and maybe the, um, you know, the plants are what we need to collect or something. And the uh, growing the plants is what um, is what we're trading with and or using to fuel the cryo tanks. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely have to see. I I haven't thought about it too much, and um i'm just trying to move forward with it i'll probably add in the the actual you know planting and harvesting of the plants next um and i'll probably try and make it so the cryo tanks have some kind of effect or like cost of using them and maybe a calendar system that has time involved i'm i'm almost expecting this to to be too big of a scope but it, that's the fun of the game jam really that you get to try something new and push yourself to get it done and within a time limit so but uh, before i say goodbye i just want to put my patrons up on screen right now thank you so much to you guys yeah i'd love to hear what you guys think how what you think of the artwork what do you think of the uh, space stations what do you think of the characters uh what do you think of the ideas i'd love to hear your ideas remember to like the video if you like the video subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video